Exactly a year ago, we made a video about installing and reviewing this Eco Smart 8 electric point of use water heater. So, wanted to do an update, review, and talk a little bit more about it. In making this video, I wanted to add an additional review of the product, having used it for a year. One important thing to talk about is, is how hot it's going to get the water and how that varies according to the time of year. On the box, they will give you some estimates of how many fixtures that you can run based on the area of the country you live in and average inlet temperature of the water. So they're basing that on well temperature in the ground. For us here in North Carolina, they're saying that in the winter it would be about 57 degrees, the inlet water temperature, and based on that you should be able to run two faucets. So I'm going to show you just running cold water. We ran this for a little bit just to make sure we were getting cold water from uh, actually out of the well and you can see that the inlet temperature of this water is much lower than 57 degrees so we're running it 47.8 48 degrees basically for the inlet temperature of the water run the the water and see how long it takes for this to come up to come up to temperature So this is running from cold water. We have not turned on the water heater previously. We just turned it on and started running it. I will say I'm not running this wide open because I have learned that it will not get quite as hot if I have this turned on all the way. The water heater is set on 140 degrees. And it's probably going to get too hot to hold here in a second. All right, we're going to run this, increase the flow rate of the water and see what it does to the temperature. You see it's going to drop quite a bit now that it's heating a larger volume of water coming in but it can't keep up at that flow rate. Again, just a, a quick update and review of this water heater a year later. So again, for us, it has worked flawlessly for one year. We've had no issues uh, at, at all. Uh, I will say that as you can see, inlet water temperature really does affect this water heater as an electric water heater, I think is a bit of a challenge. Uh, we have a gas water heater on our house, a Renai, and it certainly does not seem to have the same issues that this little heater does. But again, for the money and for the purpose, this thing I think works really, really great. It's just that now we're in the middle of winter, the water temperature, inlet temperature, as you can see, is very, very cold. 
you have to really reduce the flow rate in order to bring that temperature, the water temperature up as quickly as you would need it. Uh, is, you know, is that it's moving through a unit this big, you know, going from, I mean, as much as those pipes can move, imagine what it's having to do is take that 40 some degree water and bring it up to 140, uh, as you can see, even all the way up to 160 degrees. You, you have to give it more time, slow it down to move it through the pipes to get the that temperature up. Now in the summer, when our water temperature in the ground comes up about 20 degrees to about 57, 60 degrees, it doesn't have to work as hard and you can increase the gallons per minute, the flow rates a little bit, uh, well, a little bit more significantly and get much warmer water. So that's just something to take into consideration if you're looking to use this piece of equipment or what application you might have. But for us, it's out here in our woodworking shop. We've got a bathroom and the basically the need to wash hands and do a few other things occasionally we're having warm or hot water is really nice. Well, that's it. Exactly one year later, you can see it's working great for us. I hope this is helpful for anybody that's looking at or considering this product. And uh, until the next video from here at St. Isidore's Farm, I hope everyone is well. Take care and God bless.